Attachment Issues Episode 6 opens with paramedics removing a body from a car involved in a serious collision. The scene then shifts to Ade pretending to be unconscious to avoid Tempest's questions about her rummaging in the attic. Ade also asks Wilfred to locate the spare key to the attic and destroy a collection of diaries. These diaries, if found by Tempest, would trigger painful memories from his childhood. Who is Marianne's killer? Lisa and Winters investigate the case and identify the victim as Marianne Tierney. They reluctantly inform Marianne's husband, who was devastated by the news. He breaks down, realizing he will never see his wife again. As the episode unfolds, Sib, one of Peter's students, confesses at the police station that he saw Marianne's car crashing into the pole, but he did not check on her because he was drunk. Sib also claims to have seen Marianne getting out of the car. However, the autopsy reveals that Marianne was murdered, and she was six weeks pregnant at the time of her death. Since Peter is infertile, he suspects his wife of having an affair with Seb enraged. Peter attacks Seb and is subsequently arrested by Winters. In the interrogation room, Peter learns that Marianne was murdered. Tempest singles Dwayne as the first suspect, noticing his body language and reaction. However, without evidence, Lisa and Winters have to release Dwayne. Lisa, sensing that Dwayne is hiding something, continues to investigate. Dwayne eventually confesses that Leah, his wife, killed Marianne. Leah discovered that Marianne was pregnant with Seb's child. If the news about it had gotten out, it would have ruined Seb's career. To protect Seb, Leah forced Marianne's car off the road and suffocated her as she tried to escape. All this time, Dwayne had just been trying to shield his narcissistic wife from going to prison. Lisa attempts to arrest Leah, but she flees in a car and runs over Lisa, potentially killing her. What really happened to Tempest's father? Tempest visits Helena and gives her a key to the attic, asking her to check its contents. Helena discovers a collection of diaries and despite Tempest's request to read them, she refuses because of ethical reasons. Tempest then asks her to return the diaries to where she found them. In the box, Tempest also notices a broken trophy smeared with blood, triggering memories of his father's death. Helena reviews Tempest's father's autopsy report and suspects that the ligature may have been applied post-mortem. She suggests that his father may have died from the head injury he sustained after the rope around his neck was cut. Helena also reveals that the police never fully investigated the matter because Wilfred intervened and asked them not to. Tempest drives to the hospital and confronts Wilfred about his father's death. Ade eventually confesses that Tempest's father did not commit suicide but was accidentally killed by Ade while she was trying to protect her son. Following the accidental death, Ade called Wilfred, who then orchestrated the scene to make it look like a suicide. Tempest, feeling betrayed, calls his mother a narcissist but ultimately decides not to report her to the police after realizing that Ade killed her husband to save Tempest's life. As the episode nears its end, Jasper reconciles with his mother, and he removes his gloves to touch her hand. The Episode Review Season 3 of Professor T has wrapped up, and while it may not have surpassed the previous seasons, it still delivered on all the high points. Tempest finally found closure regarding his father's death. For years, he believed his father had taken his own life out of shame for having a son like him. However, the truth revealed that his father's death was an accident and not Jasper's fault at all. His father was an abusive man who mistreated both Jasper and his wife. Looking ahead, it's almost certain that Professor T will return for another season. The cliffhanger of Lisa's fate, whether she's alive or has flatlined, leaves room to build the story further.